Hello again, comic fans, and welcome to Massive Nerd and Comic Book Informer's Comic of the Week for May 25th, 2011. This week's pick is Incredible Hulk's number 629 by Greg Pak and Tom Grummet. While Hulk is one of Marvel's most iconic heroes, he's never really interested me that much. I liked some of Peter David's work with the character in the early 90s, but that was about it for me. However, a couple years ago on a recommendation, I checked out Greg Pak's Planet Hulk story and loved every bit of it. Since then, I've been enjoying Pak's work with the character, leading up to this week's story, License to Smash, the conclusion of a three-part story started in issue 627. In this story, Hulk has traveled to Rome and must protect Pandora's box from Tyrannus, a power-hungry immortal. The catch is Tyrannus was working with the Red She-Hulk, better known as Betty Ross, Bruce Banner's estranged and back-from-the-dead wife. Now, of course, the story features the requisite amount of smashing, but this issue takes a different turn after the wild fun of the previous two. While Pack does let Hulk off the leash every now and then, he still wants to tell solid stories, and that's what we have here. Between Banner, Hulk, Ross, and Red, we have four different characters struggling for control of only two bodies, each with wildly different feelings about each other. Red likes Hulk's aggression, but hates Banner because Banner only cares about getting Betty back. Meanwhile, Betty is still sorting through her feelings for Bruce, but hates the Hulk for always taking him away from her. Early on in the story, Hulk gets smacked down by Tyrannus, and Betty takes control to check on him. Bruce and Betty share a moment, finally connecting for the first time since Betty came back from the dead as Red She-Hulk. Betty pleads Bruce to just walk away while they can. If she transforms into Red one more time, she may be stuck that way forever. Unfortunately, neither Bruce nor Hulk can walk away from a fight when people are in danger. After the battle, Betty realizes that she can never be with Bruce while the Hulk is still a part of him. Unable to handle her depression, Betty regresses, letting Red take over, perhaps permanently. Red escapes with Tyrannus, leaving Hulk a hero of the people, but a loser in his heart. It's this complex study of the Hulk character that has drawn me to Pac's run on the title. Instead of the formulaic Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde story we've seen so many times before, we get two full characters, each with their own emotions and motivation. Sometimes they're on the same page, and others you get results like this, where their inability to coexist leads to both of them losing what's important to them. And that's about it for now. For more, check out MassiveNerd.net or ComicBookInformer.com, and I'll be back next week.